Okay, so this has been extraordinarily cryptic. There's something behind me that I have not been allowed to see, I have not been allowed to hear about, and all I know about it is that it does not include any manner of pyrotechnics. So fortunately, I brought my own! Woo! Oh, it's really heavy. Oh, it's, it's dirty. Oh my goodness. Hey Linus, do you know where the materials used to make your devices come from? No? There are minerals in almost every piece of technology you own. How do you think these four minerals ended up in your device? I feel like I was supposed to read something before that. Oh, tin, here we go. It's tin. That's just a rock. Hawk, rock, other rock. Dirt that looks like a rock. Ooh, titanium. This is like the badassest mineral. See, this rock actually looks like a hunk of metal. So let's start arranging these. I feel like a scientist. Linus, it's tantalum, not titanium. It's tantalum, not titanium. I am informed that says tantalum, not titanium. Like, what do I do? Do I just... All right, that's it. Oh, I've had enough of this. Okay, I think I'm... Oh, sick! Gold! Ah, oh, there we go. And tungsten. So this seems to be the next piece. Some of these minerals came from mines in the Congo where innocent people are being threatened by warlords. You can help. One last piece of this. Very cool. I had no idea. I'm surprised that they weren't talking about this right when they were releasing this stuff. Okay, so this is a latest generation Broadwell E Core i7 of, of some sort here. And so tin, often used as a replacement for lead, uh, which is good, by the way. Uh, the gold, which is used for the pins, um, as well as, I think, some other components because of its uh, non-corroding nature. Uh, tantalum, the key ingredient in tantalum capacitors, so uh, solid-state capacitors. And tungsten, used to conduct electricity in integrated circuits and metallic films. All of these are now conflict-free. Wow, that is very cool. I have to say, I was expecting for this video something more along the lines of like a, like a space capsule or a master system, like some kind of um, some kind of a cheesy sort of marketing message. But this is actually much more serious and actually really important. So thank you guys very much for watching this unboxing of well, sort of a Core i7-6950X, but much more importantly, the materials that it is actually composed of. So. 
I think that pretty much wraps it up. As always, if you want to buy a conflict-free processor, you'll find a link to pricing and availability in the video description. If you want to subscribe to our videos, you can do that. If you liked this video, guys, please do hit that like button. Maybe give it a share, because this is pretty important for not just Intel, but other participants in the uh, electronics industry who I think we can all agree could do a better job, both on the mineral side and the labor side of things, of making their devices uh, less harmful to the world that we live in. So thanks again for watching and uh, we'll see you guys next time.